we're doing seam finishes. In this first seam finish, we are going to do the French seam. So for the French seam, you are going to need to establish the right side and the wrong side for your sample fabric. So I want you to write right side on your swatch fabric. So wait, I'm gonna put right side on your fat on your sample. So I've got two fabrics and they are five inches by about nine inches. And um, the French seam is used to, we're gonna encase the raw edges when we sew this sample. So we're gonna sew this, this seam twice. And it is um, used so that all these raw, these little, little bits of um, threads won't come off when you wash your, wash your garment. So what we do, instead of sewing your, your garment your pieces of fabric with right sides together, we're gonna to sew with wrong sides together. So I'm gonna face my fabrics with the right sides facing away from each other. So I'm gonna pin those. And I'm gonna sew this with a quarter inch seam allowance. So I'm gonna line that up with the edge of my foot because that is my quarter inch seam allowance. This seam works really well with straight seams. It doesn't work really well with curved seams. So um, you can use this on pant legs or on the on shoulder seams. And you're gonna see this on a really ravelly fabrics, especially like chiffons or um, works, I use it on rayon. Okay, so then I'm gonna get my iron and I'm going to press it. And I, I can use my scissors and I can trim it just a little bit. So I might wanna trim it just a little bit. Off. And that helps you on this next step. So I'm going to get rid of that. So I just trimmed it off about an eighth of an inch away. And now I'm going to press it so that I press it with, and I'm going to sew it again, this time with right sides together. And I need to press it so that seam is flipped and it's perfectly aligned again. And I've, it's lined up there and I might want to pin it again so it doesn't shift, especially if it, I'm sewing with a shifty fabric like rayon or chiffon. And this time I want to sew with a, um, instead of a, quarter inch seam allowance, I'm gonna sew with a slightly fatter seam allowance. So three eighths seam allowance because a quarter plus three eighths makes five eighths seam allowance. So that is right beyond the edge of my foot. open that up and that raw edge is encased inside there and I don't have any of those scraggly pieces showing and my right sides are facing out that so that is my right side this is my wrong side is where my seam is there's my seam but see how it's finished that can go through the washing machine and it won't shred or anything so that is a french seam a french seam finish <laughs>